My name is Tom Dockin, professional dog trainer and owner of Oak Ridge Kennels in Northfield, Minnesota. I'm also a senior pro staff member for Sport Dog Brand. Today we're going to be talking about remote collars and what might be right for your flushing or retrieving breed. You know, you're going to hear some terms while we're talking about remote collars. And we're going to talk about stimulation, which means a correction that your dog is going to get. The nice part about, you know, talking about stimulation now is that there's 21 levels of stimulation, so you can match this down. And I always tell people, the lowest levels of stimulation, so your dog would feel less than if you were pulling on a leash. So that's what really makes this technology so great. We're also going to be talking about continuous and momentary stimulation. And that would be that there, there's a couple of different buttons. If I press this button, when I hold it down, there's going to be continuous stimulation. Bottom button here on this unit would be momentary. So if I held the button down, it would just be giving a momentary stimulation. There's different areas of training that you would be using that in. Also, we're going to talk about tone or vibrate. Now, if we set it for tone, what's going to happen is when I press the button, it's going to send a tone to the collar itself. It's going to be a beeping noise that's going to be on the collar. Your dog is going to hear it if you're at a distance, you aren't. Uh, I use that tone in particular for teaching my dogs to come when called. So I can hunt silently using tone or vibrate would be exactly the same where the, the collar actually would vibrate. So my dogs are taught when they're out pheasant hunting that when I hit one of those buttons, they're taught to come back and check in with me, or if I hold the button down continuously on that feature, the dog knows to come all the way back. So those are great features because when I pheasant hunt, I like to hunt silently and I'm not gonna let the birds know that I'm coming. So these are several things that we're gonna be talking about or we're gonna mention so you would know exactly what we're talking about. When we talk about flushing breeds, in general talking about breeds that are going to be working closer to the gun. Uh, flushing breeds uh, in general are going to be putting birds in the air and need to do it at a distance that the hunter can actually shoot. So you're talking about dogs ideally that are going to be in that range of anywhere from 10 to about 35 yards. And I always say that when a bird gets up, if it's going straight away, by the time you get your gun up and shoot, you probably got another 10 or 15 yards uh, before you're going to be able to shoot. So you're getting at the end of your shotgun's range. So these dogs are going to work a lot closer than a pointing breed. So when we talk about products, we're going to talk about the 425X. Now 425X is going to have the characteristics of 21 levels of stimulation, which in this case means we start at a light level and you find your dog's level that they're going to respond to. This collar can be also uh, configured, uh, the unit for three dogs, so you can add dogs to it as you go on. Also, you're going to have tone or vibrate, and I like using either the tone or vibrate mode on my collars to teach my dogs to either come back when they hear the tone on the collar or the vibration of the collar. So I can use this to control my dog without really using any whistle or voice commands at all. Uh, rechargeable which is very important, uh, so you can uh, keep your units up when you're hunting. Also, uh, 500 yards of range. Now, 500 yards of range is, is quite a bit of range for a flushing breed, so you're gonna have really most of the range that you're going to need in all of your hunting situations. Now, for those of you who want a unit that has all of the same characteristics, but you want that extra range, you want that extra comfort of mind, knowing that no matter what situation your dog is in, if they're getting over a hill, which might uh, reduce a little bit of the range that you might have, or in higher, thicker type cover, the 825X is going to give you that added range. But the basic same characteristics of your 425X. Uh, so this, both of these units are gonna give you everything that you need for a flushing breed, all the control that you need, and all the distance. One other thing to remember about flushing and retrieving breeds is a lot of people are not only gonna be hunting upland birds, but they're gonna hunt waterfowl as well. And one nice thing about these particular units, the 425X and the 825X, is that they're waterproof down to 25 feet and that's something important for a waterfall hunter because I've done it myself. I've dropped my unit in the water, pick it up, and I need to know that it's gonna work no matter what the conditions are. 
For those of you who really would like a display screen on their remote transmitter, the 575 is going to be the unit for you. Display screen is going to be easy to read out in the field and it's going to tell you exactly what you're doing, what level you've got your dog on. By the way, there's 10 levels of stimulation so you can match it to your particular dog. It's going to show your stimulation level. It's going to show what dog you're working because you can actually configure this for two different dogs. It has tone or vibrate as well. When you're using the display screen, it's going to be something that when you're looking at it, you're going to be able to adjust also up or down your stimulation level. And this might come into play if your dog normally works on a lower level, but all of a sudden it chases a deer, a rabbit or something, and you want to increase it. You'll be able to see on the screen exactly where you're at. For those of you who are waterfall hunters, the 575 does come in black and is submersible up to 25 feet as well. You know, one important point also that I want to make is that remote training collars aren't used to teach your dog the commands. Remote collars are used to reinforce commands that have already been taught to your dog. This is extremely important. So this is not going to be a shortcut to training and it's important that you do all your basic obedience commands that you're going to be requiring your dog to do with the remote collar with starting off with a six foot leash and then going to a check cord and then graduating to the remote collar as well. Once you've done those steps, you're gonna have a dog that's gonna be reliable in any hunting situation or any time that you're out in the public. If you like more information, go to sportdog.com.